the continuous review system. In the continuous review system, which is also known as the Q comma R system, the order quantity Q and the reorder point R are fixed as policies. Now, if you examine this graph closely, we have the inventory position on the Y axis. You can see the inventory coming down, the inventory position coming down gradually. And you can also see that it's not a straight line because the demand rate is not assumed to be constant. When the inventory position reaches the reorder point, a fresh order is placed, which arrives, the replenishment arrives after a lead time of L1 in the first cycle. The quantity Q is fixed. So the quantity Q is added to the inventory and the inventory level or the inventory position rises to Q max one. And again, the next cycle begins. So if you examine this, you will see that the order quantity Q is the same each time we order. The reorder point is the same. However, the lead times across the order cycles are all different. So is the time between orders. Time between consecutive orders varies from one cycle to the next. The Q max, the maximum inventory position reached is also different in each order cycle because the time the replenishment arrives, uh, the inventory on hand or the inventory position is different each time. So this is the continuous review system in which the order quantity Q and the reorder point are fixed and all other parameters vary. How do we find the order quantity Q? For this, we simply take the average value of demand the unit order cost, the holding cost, and the back order cost if it's involved, and use the appropriate EOQ formula to find the value of Q star. So with this Q star, even though all the EOQ assumptions are not satisfied, we take this Q star as the quantity to be ordered. How do we find the reorder point? First, we compute the optimal P star and SL star. P star is the proportion of stock out, and SL star is the service level given the unit holding cost and the back order cost, or we can fix the service level and P as desired by the organization. It need not always go for the optimal proportion of stock out and service level. It can fix different values. Then we apply the uh, lead time demand formulae. We use the mean of demand the standard deviation of demand mean of lead time, standard deviation of lead time, to find the mean and standard deviation of lead time demand using these standard formulae. And using them, using the values that we have just found, if lead time demand is continuous, we compute the reorder point as equal to that lead time demand, which is given by the F inverse of the service level. On the other hand, if lead time demand is discrete, we compute the reorder point as the lowest value of lead time demand, which is at least equal to F inverse of the service level. So this way we can compute the reorder point knowing the service level that we have. Now, in the special case when the lead time demand is also normally distributed, then we can straight away compute R as the mean lead time demand plus Z of service level into the sigma of the lead time demand. The safety stock subsequently is in general computed as the reorder point minus the mean lead time demand. But if LD is normally distributed, then we can say that the safety stock is nothing but the Z value corresponding to this the service level multiplied by the standard deviation of the lead time demand. Now let's do an example to understand this better. At the Just Do It Sports Store, a popular sports t-shirt has a normally distributed demand with a mean of 2592 units per year and a standard deviation of 81 units. The t-shirt is sourced by the store for rupees 360 and its annual holding cost is computed as 10% of the unit value. The annual cost of back ordering is rupees 64 per unit while the order cost is rupees 225 for each order. The store works 324 days a year and the lead time is four working days. We have to answer what is the optimal order quantity, find the optimal service level and the reorder point, and what is the reorder point for a 95% service level. We then have to compare the safety stock at this level, the 95% service level, with that at the optimal stock out level. Now, let's look at first the order quantity. 
For this, we apply the EOQ formula given the values of demand, the mean of demand is given to us and all the other cost parameters also are given. Uh, applying the formula uh, of EOQ with back ordering, we get Q star is 25 and we fix this Q star as the quantity to order in our system, 225. The optimal stockout proportion and service level are got with the help of the unit holding costs and back order costs. So the P star comes out to be 0.36 and therefore the optimal service level is 0.64. The lead time demand is obtained by applying the mu LD formula and the sigma square LD formulas. So we get that the mean lead time demand is 32 and the variance of lead time demand is 4 by 324 into 81 square, which implies that the sigma of lead time demand is equal to 9. So now using the mean and variance or mean and standard deviation of lead time demand, we can determine the reorder point for the optimal service level. R star turns out to be mu LD plus Z of 0.64, which is the optimal service level into sigma LD. And this, by substituting the appropriate values, we get as equal to 35.22. The safety stock at the optimal service level is S star equal to R star minus mu LD, which turns out to be 3.22. So we have 3.22 units as the safety stock if we operate at the optimal service level. But what if we went for the 95% service level? Then the reorder point would be obtained by using Z of 0.95 instead of Z of 0.64. So it would be mu LD plus Z 0.95 into sigma LD, which comes out to be 46.8 units. That would be where our reorder point is. And the safety stock for that level of reorder point is 14.8. So if we compare the two safety stock levels, we realize that the 95% service level requires about 12 units of safety stock more than the optimal service level uh, of 64%. Okay, so in this video, we have seen the continuous review system where the order quantity and the reorder point are fixed. We have seen the mathematical model and we've also seen an example to understand how to compute the necessary values for setting up this model. Thank you.